Lifetime original movie. This is our chance. No drawn out adoption process. Ripped from the headlines. She has the baby, then she's off to Florida, and then we have our family. Inspired by actual stories. She wants the money up front. And I think we should buy her a car. You're too good to me. They're not gifts, they're necessities. We have no idea who she is. This time tomorrow, we'll be halfway across the state. Your hands are so dirty, they can't possibly become clean. The Hillsdale Adoption Scam premieres Saturday, March 18th at 8, only on Lifetime. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Rip from the Headlines virtual press day. We're very excited. Additionally, we're also excited to announce four new fierce female projects coming to Lifetime this year in a way to celebrate International Women's Day. The projects are TLC Forever, Janet Jackson Family First, Merry Little Christmas Vacation, and Keisha Cole, This Is My Story. Please reach out to Lifetime PR at AE Networks if you need the releases. Now, let's get into it. Joining us this morning are stars Keisha Knight-Pulliam and Danica Frederick from the Hillsdale Adoption Scam. Thank you both for being here today. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Hello. We're going to start it off with our first question from Chris Gunther. Hey guys, thank you so much for taking the time out with me. First of all, happy Women's Month. You know, if it wasn't for you guys, none of us would be here. So thank you for everything that you do. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you. No, you know, it's a pleasure and thank you for that. Hey, Danica. Hi, how are you? I'm so good. How are you? Oh, I'm great. <laughs> Awesome. Well, my question is for Keisha. Keisha, you've been in this business for such a long time. And with this being the month that we take the time out to honor those women, who are some of the powerhouses that are women that encourage you in this business? Wow. You know, I, I guess I would start with just in life, not just in business, but my mother is one of the biggest role models. Like I absolutely, completely adore her. And she has taught me everything I know about being not only an amazing woman, but an amazing mother and wife. Um, so she's just always going to be tops on my list. Um, and she literally travels with me to this day um, as the executive director of my nonprofit, the Camp Kizzy Foundation, in addition to, you know, traveling on the road so we can do so that I can do amazing projects like the Hillsdale adoption scam and all the other work that I do. Um, she travels with us so she can watch my daughter. So got it hey well thank you for taking the time out with me and also want to give you your flowers your icon to the culture god bless thank you thank you god bless thank you our next question is from so unique magazine hi guys how are you great how are you i'm good thank you so from an actor's standpoint, when you initially read the script, did it seem too good to be true when Georgia showed up looking for help, knowing that, you know, Bethany and Terrence were having problems conceding? You know, it's, it's really funny because when you're in that space of truly desiring a child and having trouble um, having one, you want to find the ray of hope in any anything that happens. You know, I did a, a documentary called Eggs Over Easy that um, aired last year on OWN. And it was all about that, you know, just, just from IVF to adoption to choosing not to have children. And when you've gone down this road, as you know, we have gone, you know, through the journey as well, that when you're in that space, you want to cling to any glimmer of hope. So outside of looking at it like, um, an issue, you're going to look at it as a blessing or a sign until you see otherwise. <laughs> In this script, you see otherwise. And I have to say, Danica, as sweet as you are, you did a really good job of playing real crazy. Let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, I, I totally agree. I think, um, yeah, just analyzing the script, I think that's it. Anything in life, when when you're desperate and you feel like you're at rock bottom, you can kind of ignore um, the signs, even if they may seem obvious, you don't want to admit it. You want to believe that it's good. And like you said, Keisha, a blessing and it's, and it's meant to be, but it is not meant to be. No. <laughs> it's really fun. Thank you guys for your wonderful responses. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Our next question is from Suzanne from TV Meg. Hi, Suzanne. Hi. 
Hi, ladies. Um, this is um, Danica. How was it wearing that pregnancy pad while shooting? Was it uncomfortable? <laughs> oh, my goodness. It was so interesting. I felt I don't have any children, um, but it felt it was really sore on my hips. And I found that other people would notice I kind of found myself touching it like instinctively. It was was very, very interesting um, and so cool to play you know, something that I've physically never been able to experience and, and having to research that. Um, yeah, it was, it was very, very cool. Very the weird. Funny, the funny thing is you had the prosthetic belly on. I had the real belly because I was, <laughs> I still am pregnant. We're almost done, but oh, yeah. I was very pregnant while we were doing this. So while they're accentuating Danica's fake belly, they're trying to hide my real belly. <laughs> oh man, that must have been funny. Uh, yeah. well, and congratulations on your pregnancy, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Our next question is from the Endlist Report. Okay, I'm I'm trying to get I'm trying to get my screen. Um, my question is for Keisha. Keisha, how was it for you being able to your character play a lot of parts in the movie, and it, she was going through a lot. Yeah. So how was it for you to get into all of those different characters and feel those different emotions? You know, um, it's it's really crazy because, you know, our the character Bethany, Bethany and I were at two such polar opposite ends where she's yearning to have this baby, where I'm actually carrying this baby that we yearn for. So it was it was interesting because you can I could definitely understand the range of emotions because it was a journey for us to get here to where we are today. So I understand that feeling um, that, that Bethany was going through and desiring to expand her family, having trouble doing it and really just looking at any piece of hope or pathway to do it. When you're a mom, one thing that you learn is that, you know, you, whether it's from your womb or whether you adopt or however it comes to fruition, there is this love that's almost like you grow a whole nother heart outside of your body. So from that, I completely understood and connected with Bethany and the love that she felt and the desire that she had to have um, have her family grow. And, you know, there were moments where I had to, like, have a conversation with this belly baby, like, listen, this is just mommy doing her job, <laughs> so, you know, to disconnect from an energy standpoint. Um, because I truly believe that specifically when you're growing a life that you all are so interconnected and so intertwined. I mean, goodness, they're literally growing inside you. So it was also really important for me to, you know, do my job and be like, you know, baby, this is mommy doing what I love to do. But these emotions aren't my emotions. This is me just doing the job um, that that I'm here to do. So it was it was interesting because um, it's a stretch. Like my husband, anyone will tell you, like, I am not a thriller girl. I am not a scary movie girl. <laughs> like if it's not like a comedy, rom-com, happy, fun Christmas movie, usually that's not the genre that I am. Um, I'm just dr drawn to, but it was just such a, a great script. And you know, getting up there working with Danica and the whole crew, I've worked with all of them on other movies from Radio Christmas to um, uh, Tempted by Danger, another Lifetime movie I did. So it was great and easy when you're surrounded by such a great cast and such a great crew. Well, thank you. It was a really good movie. You ladies did a wonderful job. It, get, it definitely kept me on my toes. Yay. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Our next question is from Jamie Ruby. Hello, thanks for talking to us. So, um, and you sort of touched on this a little bit, but could you both speak more about what it was in particular about either the characters or the script that, you know, made you know that you just had to do this project for both of you? Want to go, Danica? Sure, yeah. Um, I think for me, um, I, I don't go out for a lot of villains. And uh, this was this was very interesting because I do think that Bethany and Georgia are two sides of the same coin, um, as you find out you know, at the end of the movie, uh, they they share a lot of similarities. Um, and I think one of the things that I find so fascinating about playing, you know, the bad guy or the villain is that you have to 
justify what it is that makes them do what they do. And kind of how you were just saying, Keisha, you have to find the emotion, but you know, you dissociate from it a bit because I'm not crazy, but <laughs> um, you, you have to find that within yourself and, and make it right. And, and those choices come from pain and from hurt and just being able to really lean into that and let go was so fun. I've never been able to do that before. Um, so yeah, it was an absolute honor to be able to play Georgia. Yeah, I know for me and Bethany, it's it's a very big departure from a lot of the roles that I do normally play. Um, and especially, you know, with what I've done with Lifetime in particular, I host, you know, Married at First Sight After Party. I've done a bevy of, of Christmas movies and other movies with Lifetime. But this was my first like real deal, like thriller where, you know, she's having this whole range of emotions. You know, you all have seen it. I don't want to give it away, but we're, we're just like, running and knives and guns and <laughs> just all of this stuff. And I think it was a really great story. I think it's a story that people can really sit down, whether you've lived this experience or not, that you can be drawn in, that you can, you know, really feel the ride that these women are women are on. And um, I think people are going to, I really hope that people just really enjoy it. And, you know, it's funny because, you know, when the script came to me and I, they, my agent's like, yeah, we have this offer. I didn't think it was going to be this kind of movie. I was like, oh, it's perfect. It's Christmas. It's a Christmas movie. Just kidding. It was, <laughs> but um, I really appreciated the opportunity to do it. And um, I, I really hope that people enjoy it and are able to see another dimension of who I am and what I do as an actor. Right. All right. Well, thank you, both of you. Thank you. thank you. Thank you. Our next question is from Valerie Milano. Hello. Valerie. Hello. Good morning. Hi. Um, hey. We've already talked to you, Keisha, a little bit about, you know, playing a mother and, and how it felt, you know, instinctual and, and, and such. Um, but I wanted to talk to you about, you know, you played numerous roles in Lifetime movies. And what do you enjoy most about the network? You know, Lifetime has very much become, you know, a part of the family at this point. You know, I absolutely just love working with them. It's a very female centered network in general, in terms of its its content, in terms of, um, you know, just the type of movies and the variety of movies that they show. I really appreciate that they have really embraced diversity on their network, where you have leading ladies that come from all different races, ages, walks of life. And I think that's really important, um, you know, just from an imagery standpoint of the little girls and the families that are watching the movies on Lifetime, it's important to see people who look like you when you turn on the TV. Um, they've just been great to work with. You know, when you find people who you not only really truly enjoy working with, you enjoy the content, you enjoy the scripts, that's that's a win win. That's something that, you know, everyone is looking for, whether you are an actor or whatever you do, you want there to be synergy within your work environment. You know, they're very supportive of me as a mom as well. You know, when we go to film as, as Danica knows, like she saw my husband's there, my daughter's there, my mom's there. So it's a very family friendly environment. And the the movies, I don't know if Ella's gonna watch this one because she had a hard time on set. I don't know if Dana can remember like some scenes we were doing, and she was oh. like, No, my mommy is crying. Oh. So, I don't know if she's gonna watch this one. But you know, for the most part, we do projects that the entire family can sit down and watch. And I appreciate that. You know, you wanna do work that, you know, your whole family can enjoy. At least I do. That's what's important to me. Thank you, ladies, and thank you, Lifetime. Thank you. Thank you. Our next question is from D. Russell Entertainment. Hi. D. D. Russell, are you able to unmute? Okay, we'll skip over. Oh, no. Nope. Yeah, we'll skip over and we'll go to 107.9 The Beat. Yes, ma'am. I'm able to unmute. Can you hear me? Yes, is this D. Russell or 107.9? Yes, it is. Good afternoon, everyone. Hi, Miss Keisha. Hi, um, how are you? <laughs> good, good. It's Dijon, like the mustard. I Hi. wanted to know. Thank you. 
I wanted to know how has this impacted you from lifetime, from Tyler Perry all the way to now? How has it impacted me? I mean, I, I'm really grateful and blessed that I've had such an amazing career that has literally spanned, oh, I'm just telling my age, four plus decades at this point. Um, I love being able to do what I enjoy. You know, we actually have a new season, season 10 of Tyler Perry that um, is airing this month also. So it's great to be able to simultaneously do what I love with, you know, working with Lifetime from the Hillsdale adoptions, adoption scam to all of the other movies that I've done with them, as well as enjoy and grow my family and just, you know, continue to portray characters that can really touch the hearts of all those who, who watch them. That's ultimately, you know, what it's about. This is such an amazing platform to have, and you have the ability to touch so many people from all areas of the globe. And there aren't too many things you can do and do those things simultaneously. Yes, ma'am, I thank you for that. You've been a phenomenal actor and you just keep blazing the trail. Thank, thank you, you for appreciate it, Dijon. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Now we can go to 107.9. Thank you. Hello, ladies. Hello. Um, so Keisha, my question goes to you. Um, I've seen you since, you know, of course, since she was a little girl to Tyler Perry. And then you stepped into this thriller that you talked about, like that's not your normal um, drama, you know? So how did you decide, like once your agent gave it to you, knowing that you're pregnant and he's like, oh, I got to tap into this emotion. It's going to be a little bit scary. What was the deciding factor? Like, okay, I'm just going to do it. You know, it's funny. It's because I'm, I'm very much a person who believes in what's for you is for you and will never miss you. Mm -hmm. And, um, when this came through, I, I said, I looked to my husband, I looked to Brad, I'm like, well, this was for me. Then it's long come together. It'll work out. So being pregnant and being old and pregnant the way I am, <laughs> there were definitely certain things that were important and that had to happen, um, you know, from there is action in the movie. So I was like, okay, or do they know I'm pregnant? Like I'm pretty <laughs> pregnant. And they were like, yes, they know that. I was like, okay, well, I can't, you know, do running and jumping under stuff and off of stuff and all this stuff. Are they willing to work with those things? Mm. And with everything, they were like, yes, we can do this. So I was like, okay. And mind you, the crazy thing is we shot this at the end of last year. And it was like right after, like my whole first trimester in my pregnancy, I was one of those people who had all day sickness, not morning sickness, not <laughs> sometimes sickness, but me and the toilet were one consistently for a few <laughs> So it literally came right at the cusp. So I was like, I don't know physically how I'm going to do this, like literally. But when it kept coming back from a universal standpoint, that this is a yes, yes. Like everything, every curve, it was like, yes. I was like, okay, well, if I'm being provided with this opportunity, I know I'm also going to be provided with everything I know to make it through and to do a great job at it. Mm. And I have to say, you know, everyone was amazing on set and, you know, we got it done. We worked some long hours, right, Danica? And oh, yes. <laughs> we, it was, it was Canada. So it was snow. <laughs> I know it was light. It was light work for Danica because she's from <laughs> <laughs> but, so, it, yeah. <laughs> I've been in Atlanta, Georgia for 20 years. Oh. It didn't snow on a Tuesday, 10 inches just cause. So, <laughs> you know, all of those things, but ultimately, I think we really came together as a cast and I feel like it shows, you know, on the screen. It was wonderful working with, with everybody. And mm -hmm. I feel like everyone came and just played their role perfectly. And that's really what you want. When you do any project, it's about everyone having, being positioned to be the best version of themselves and to play their role just seamlessly. Um, that's when you have a great project. Yes. Well, it was great seeing you in the thriller. Danica, you killed it as well. Because um, you. you have like this innocent persona. And then it was like, ooh. <laughs> she's all petite and cute. And you think she's sweet until she, she's not. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I enjoyed it. Happy Women's Day. And Keisha, just keep being the legend that you are. And I look forward for more work from both of you all. Thank you. Thank you. And Keisha, I just have to say the entire time I was so in awe of you, you <laughs> were just powering through and you really inspire me because I hope to be a mother one day. So no, no, but, it's what you desire. You will be. <laughs> so, thank you for that. I appreciate it.
and it was a, it was a joy. There were some days I have to say when y'all were having second meal as hot dogs, and my stomach <laughs> was like, die. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Our next question will be from Partee Smith from New Light Media. Hi, Partee. Hello. There, there you go. Uh, hey, guys. I'm excited to be here. Thank you so much. Uh, can you just tell me what inspired you to take this role? You want to go, Dana? Yeah. Um, what inspired me? I mean, so I am on the other side of the spectrum. I have only been in the film industry now for five years. Um, and this audition came along and it was one of the bigger things that I had auditioned for. And frankly speaking, this is my first lead. I really didn't think I was going to get it, but I, like I said, I, this role was so cool and I, I normally don't go out for these types of roles. Um, when I got the offer, I was just so thrilled and like, couldn't believe it. My agent called me and I was at my retail survival job and I quit and yeah, just when the offer came through, I was like, yes, amazing. And I like what Keisha said, you know, what's meant for you is meant for you and it won't miss you. And, um, yeah, it was just such, such an honor to play Georgia and work with, um, all these women at the helm of this film it was just so incredible and um, a director as well asia yeah. Young yeah. Man, which is it's awesome working with a, a female director yes yeah. um yeah it was just such such a pleasure i i wish i could say that i got to choose it but i think the role chose me and and georgia and i were a perfect fit and i'm so glad i got to play her absolutely <laughs> um did you want me to answer that what was the question as well about the film um, sorry, my pregnant sure, sure. in right now. <laughs> um, you know, I I definitely um was excited to play the role, as I've said, and um it was just it was just the right timing. And it's funny because my whole pregnancy I've been trying to like, okay, well, I'm gonna sit down now and take a break. And it hasn't really worked out that way. Every time I say that, another opportunity pops up. And I'm like, okay, well, I guess this is what we're doing right now. And I'm really happy that I did. You know, I'm happy that I took on this challenge. Um, and I think it it speaks to just women in general. You know, a lot of times people feel like, oh, if you're pregnant or if you're a mom or this, that you no longer can continue from a professional standpoint, or you can't continue to chase your dreams. And that's just simply not true. And I'm a testament to that, you know, you can, if it's what you desire, you can make sure that you create and carve time for all of those things. Yes, it's hectic. Yes, it's busy. It's it's all of that. But, you know, my number one and favorite job, yes, is being a mom. But part of that is showing my daughter that, you know, you have to continue to live your life and do the things that you're passionate about. And the only way I can show her that is to do it myself. So she needs to see mom you know, being mom, but also living my life that helps me be the best version of myself. So I'm really happy that I did it because I honestly was like, not sure if I could handle it all. And I did. Um, and I, if, if I had it all to do over again, I would. So I'm definitely, you know, I'm grateful for that. Great. Thank you. Our next question is from Terry Shropshire. Hi, Terry. Hi, Terry. Yes, hello. I'm from Rolling Out, and uh, nice to meet you today. I want You said that you have a preference, uh, Keisha, in regards to the roles that you take. However, I have to say that you evoked a very visceral reaction, even though it was a rom-com or a comedy, uh, and Medea goes to jail about a young woman who was sexually assaulted yes. and turned to prostitution out of severe depression. So you've, you've taken us there before. Um, were there any apprehensions about going into that space again? But if you we, notice, I, I do it, I don't mean to cut you off, you notice I do it very, very, very sparingly. <laughs> um, so I know I have the ability to do it, but when you're someone who kind of, when you're someone who energy is something that you feel and you experience when you're very, much an empath and yeah. it it does affect you on some level so for me that's part of why you know 
I don't like to feel like that. Like when you're doing a movie, this is a whole month that, you know, for us, we were a month in doing this. When Medea goes to jail, it was even longer. So you're in this space constantly and it just doesn't feel good for me. So not to say I respect the actors who do, who kill it, who do it well. I just know from, I just like, I'm just, my personality is more light in general. And so I like things that complement that. And I like to watch movies that, you know, I also would enjoy. So I enjoy silly, that's just a me thing. You know, it takes nothing away from the people who do choose to do it. And I know I can do it. And from time to time, I definitely will take on those challenges. But on an everyday, if I can do a fun loving character, I am all over it. It's so true, Keisha. When I first started acting and getting into that heavy emotional stuff and you're learning how to to find that for the first little while I couldn't get out of that when I would go into it and it's it's heavy and yeah to be playing a role where you're in that for so long is, is yeah. can be and I don't think people realize that because when you watch a movie it's you know an hour or 90 minutes or whatever it is and you experience that film but when you're on the other side and you're making that movie you are completely entrenched in those feelings that that character is having. And even though they aren't your experiences, you have to draw from experiences that you do understand and you have felt and connect those dots um, in order to you know, play that emotion. Because human emotion, you know, whether it's anger, it's sadness, it's disappointment, they're universal. So even if you've never had been addicted to drugs or had sexual assault or these things, you can you have to as an actor connect those emotions to real feelings within you and as a result you know you have to feel them there's no other way for it to come across on screen um authentically and honestly unless you feel them mm -hmm. absolutely I, I, that was a great explanation about how hard it can be to be an actor or an actress so thank you for that and blessings to you both thank you you as well Thank you. Our last question will be from William Carter. Hi, William. Hi. Hello. How y'all doing? Wonderful. You? I'm doing well. Um, so yeah, I watched the film. I was like, okay, all right. You know, I was going along with it. Let me find <laughs> out, you know. Um, y'all did a really good job. I had to give it to you. Um, but my question is for Miss Keisha. Yeah. So I want to know, you talked about, you know, some apprehension taking the role and how it was a little bit different, but I want to know when, with you choosing this role, what did it teach you about yourself? What did you learn, you know, throughout the process? Um, you know, I think the biggest thing throughout the process is that it, it's two lessons. Like I said earlier, what's for me is for me and it won't miss me, but, and it reinforced something that I already know. Like I, I work from that space and live from that space of abundance always and knowing that, you know, there's enough for everybody and what I receive doesn't take away from what Danica receives and vice versa, because we all are are destined to have what is our already ours. Um, but I think just from a personal standpoint and, you know, all of the things that were going on in my life from, you know, pregnancy to just, you know, just everything that I, I could do it. Um, I When you embark on doing a film, like you all just see the what's been edited together, but behind the scenes, those are 12 plus hour days. It is hair, it is makeup, it is doing a scene from, you know, the same scene from this angle, from that angle, this coverage. And there's just so much that goes into it that once it comes together, it's seamless, but you know, everyone who's on a movie set works really, really hard to bring this to fruition from the PAs to the grips to camera to you name it. Everyone has to come together and work really, really hard. So I'm just grateful that I made it through <laughs> that <laughs> it turned out so well. And um, it's just another example of when you set your mind to doing something that, you know, you get it done, you can get it done. It'll happen. I know that's right. You definitely did make it through both of y'all. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. That marks the end of our panel. A huge thank you to Keisha and Danica for your time today. 
And everyone, please tune in to the Hillsdale Adoption Scam on Saturday, March 18th at 8 p.m. on Lifetime. Yay. <laughs>